In our last session, we explored the power and simplicity of using ng4 in Angular to render dynamic lists. Today we are going to dive deeper and tackle a common challenge of performance with ng4 when dealing with large lists or lists that changes frequently. This is because Angular re-renders the entire list whenever there is a change in the data which can be quite inefficient. But the good news is that Angular provides a solution for this challenge. So, Let's open the same project we created in our last session while learning about ng4. Here we have this template file which is displaying the list of languages and list of languages info that we have defined in our component file here. Since here we have a limited number of items in our list, it is working fine. But let's try to reproduce the challenge we face with ng4 performance. So for that, let's create a method refresh here which is simply going to display the languages info list again but with a little modification in this list this time let's add c sharp name and year 2001 and hit save now in our template file let's add a button which we'll call the method refresh we created just now and name it as refresh like this and save. Now in our browser let's open the developer tool and expand the language info list and you will notice that when I'm clicking the refresh button the entire language info list is getting re-rendered. You can clearly see it here. Whenever I click on this refresh button, the list is getting re-rendered again and again. And right now, because we have a limited number of items in our list, we are facing no lag in the load of our list. But now, imagine we had a lot of items in this list with some complex languages info object. Then we definitely would be facing performance challenges while removing these items from the dome and then again re-rendering them. And the cause for this problem is that Angular does not track which specific items in the list have changed. Instead, it re-renders the entire list even if a single item has been modified. And this can lead to a significant performance issue, especially with larger lists or more complex data structures. Now, let's tackle this challenge using the track by function. And for that, let's go back to our template file and in here, let's add track by colon add a method name here let's say refresh languages info and then go back to our component file but first let's copy this go back to our component file now paste it here and pass in index as the first argument which is going to be of type number and then let's pass the language object language object as the second argument which should be of type language info object but since we don't have a model ready for this language info object let's give it a type any and then since the unique identifier for this method refresh languages info is going to be name which is of type string we will mark the return type of this method as string string here and curly braces now let's return language object dot name semicolon here and save now let's go back to a browser expand app root then our unordered list and again keep a watch on this ul and li tag now i'm going to hit the refresh button again and this time you will notice that the entire list didn't get re-render again. And again if I'll click on this refresh button, you will see no re-rendering of the items is happening. So basically by adding this track by function in here, Angular knows exactly which items have changed, added or removed and only makes dome updates for those items. And this track by function my friends is gonna be very helpful when you will be having complex and large number of items in a list. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and happy coding.